Hey guys, so today I want to talk a little bit about uh, graphene and basically Android in general. So this video applies to any Android operating system, any Android phone. So if you have an Android phone, I'm going to talk a little bit about Orbot today. It's a must-have app if you care about your privacy and also security as well. When you're dealing with things like hidden services, you have that end-to-end -end encryption overlay which also provides anonymity by routing through several Tor nodes. And you can then anonymize different applications you might have. So, for instance, today we're looking at Orbot. Orbot's an excellent app. And you can get it on the Play Store or other accessible ways to get the Orbot app. Now, once you have the Orbot app, you can turn on VPN mode. If you turn on VPN mode, you can actually go through and select applications that you want to be fully Torified. So, if you want to have all your apps Torified, you can actually do that. Now, some may not allow the Tor connection, but you can at least try it. And one thing I've done is I've downloaded the NextCloud uh, client app. And I've actually turned that on my VPN mode. And so that is always Torified while I have Orbot running. So ensure you have Orbot running first. You want to have to have it running first so you don't end up leaking onion dresses, things like that. I also have a radio app that is Torified. And that's in case, say, I don't want people listening to what I'm listening to. So there's another option and just another example for you. You can use bridges if you want to, but you don't need to. Most people don't need a bridge. Save the bridges for people who actually need them. And if you need one, you probably already know this. Now, with NextCloud, I have had this set up. And since I started Orbot and I made it sure it was Torified in Orbot, as I showed you in VPN mode. Uh, now what happens is I can open the NextCloud app, paste in my Tor hidden service NextCloud address, and then I can simply log in. But just ensure you have Orbot running, you have the client app already enabled in the VPN mode, and then you'll be able to use it just like you would. As you can see here, I'm already logged into the cloud. It's a Tor hidden service using end-to-end -end encryption overlay to secure access to the next cloud, so you don't need an HTTPS for this because the end-to-end -end encryption is provided through the Tor network as a hidden service. So the private key on the server is how it encrypts it end to end with the client side, whether it's Tor browser, there's it's through Tor client to Tor client on each end. And so we have a NextCloud hidden service now officially on the official NextCloud app. Now you can also go into proxy settings for NextCloud and you could set it up that way. I just thought this was more straightforward and easy to do. Now as you can see, I can even click on things like my private bin button I have on the NextCloud. And if I do that, it'll take me to it as I've set my browser. My default browser is also set to Tor Browser. So that way when I open a link, it's automatically going to open in Tor Browser unless I manually open it in another browser for the purpose of connecting directly. And this is completely up to you. You may want to use some of the ideas that I just shared with you now to improve your own setup. Just wanted to share some of this vlog and some of the things that I've done with my new Android graphene phone, my Google Pixel. So, hope you like this video. Make sure to share it, like it, comment. Comments help the algorithm. Sharing links really helps the algorithm with search engine optimization. You post a link to this video somewhere, it's going to tell Google and other parties that the information is reliable. The more people who post links, the more reliable it looks, the higher it goes in the search rankings. So I appreciate your help there. If you want to support this, you can go to buymeacoffee.com slash politictech. You can also read the fully public blog there. It is at buymeacoffee.com slash politictech slash post. So check it out and make sure to share the video. And I'll see you later in a future video on how to protect your security and privacy.